Good morning, everybody. This is Pixis Designs. It's been a couple of weeks, I think, that I've put anything out new. That's probably because I've been busy doing stuff, playing with my new Prusa XL over there. And uh, funny enough, the first thing that I did whenever I got that thing all put together, I knew that I needed to do this for a, uh, a guy that reached out to me uh, probably early last year after I had done an MMS for him. And uh, apparently he also collects one six scale figures. And he asked me if I could do a 112 MMS. And I thought for sure I could do it. I thought for sure that I can pull it off on my machines, but this uh, base and the, the height of these missiles are just way too much for it. So as soon as I got my Push XL in, I reached out to him and says, hey man, you still ready for this thing? <laughs> he says, yes, let's make it happen. So I immediately got to running all the parts for this thing. Now I know most of this can be run on my other 3D printing machines, but yeah, this the, the base for this and the missiles are just not only way too tall whenever this is printing up, but uh, the these are just way too big for my base plates on my MK3s and now MK4s, so it took a bit. Um, I'm still playing around with the settings for the uh, my eSun filament. It's still a little bit stringy. There are some, I don't know if it's necessarily a moisture thing, because I can throw that same eSun filament on my regular MKs and not have an issue, but for some reason it's a little bit more stringy on my uh, XL. So I'm still having to work through some of the settings on that. Uh, but for the most part, uh, in case you can't tell right here, this is a 112 sc scale Duke that comes with the uh, uh, Tiger Force motorcycle ram. And this gives you a better general idea of how big this is compared to... <laughs> yeah, it's sizable. <laughs> uh, for the most part, I pretty much just scaled everything up from my regular uh, mobile missile system. I do not have one in here to show a comparison on the size. I can show you a quick comparison on... Oh, let's see here, my big old bucket of parts over here. This is how big a body your typically is for an MMS. And I'm gonna maybe easier to do that. So it's about the length of a figure. I actually don't have a one six scale GI Joe figure to be able to show this next to. So <laughs> that's not a line that I ever really thought to get into. But here's let me slide this back here real quick. This is the control panel. So pretty sizable. <laughs> He's a big dude. And it weighs, it actually weighs more than my rip saw that I produce, so it's a pretty hefty object. So everything works just like my regular scale MMS, everything pulls apart. Uh, tolerances are just a little bit looser just because you're scaling a three three thousandths tolerance up to like two hundred percent, so I guess it'd be a six thousandths tolerance, so these missiles come off way easier than what they would normally would on my MMS. And it's kind of an issue where I knew I would be running into it just for the fact that uh, when you're scaling stuff like that up, it's, it's going to change a lot of things. This is still tight, oddly enough, though. I did have to go in there and uh, whenever I sliced everything up, there's some of that string that I was talking about. Whenever I scaled this up, I knew that I was going to have to take some meat out of these clips. So I went ahead and did that in a slicer by creating a negative space and uh, blocking part of that out because I knew this probably wouldn't close if it had the meat in it that it would typically have once you blow it up. Because you were talking about a lot of infill in there. Not just, I dialed it back just enough to where you're only, there's no infill. So it's just the filament uh, tracks going back and forth through here. So it's it's still fairly sturdy like that. Um, these are, typically I have to, you know, pound these in there pretty hard and it's just loosey-goosey. 
but those missiles are made to be glued together anyway so it's just more of an alignment pin for you to put that in there but i'm trying to make room so i can be able to do this so yeah everything works like it normally would actually a lot smoother than my smaller mms And here's the missile, same clip action that I have for the smaller one. Just like that. And of course everything still works from, you know, transforming this thing to its, its more mobile type unit. So this is my first time actually putting it back in together. So I'm not sure how well this is going to work for me. <laughs> Probably just do each one at a time here. No, that's not bad. Of course, the wheels need to get some weight on them before I can push the R2D2 feet in. And this slides. Camera. Just like that. And then that just goes in there like that. Now again, typically these missiles would be glued together, so this is this th this just eases the shipping pain on me whenever I ship this thing to you because this would be a, a much larger box. Now for this particular customer, uh, what I did end up having to do, there was a little bit of a communication error. Uh, I'm not going to say whose fault it was. It was just you know just a miscommunication error. He really wanted this to be more all green. And so I originally print this up like my typical MMS, where I've got the silver missiles. So, uh, to alleviate a lot of that air, I decided to make a case for his MMS missiles. That. And there's a storage for his silver missile that he's going to have. <clears throat> so pretty nifty. <clears throat> so he's going to get a, a pretty big package coming his way. like that. And the tongue on this comes out just like my uh, smaller MMS where if you don't want the long tongue on it, you can put the standard tongue on it just like the original head. And I just may make that an option because the only reason why I make this longer tongue is to be able to be towed. And I'm pretty sure that there's not a vehicle big enough to tow this for a 1.6 G.I. Joe character. <laughs> I don't think they make vehicles for those characters. I could be wrong though, you never know. So um, when I put this up in my store, I'm just going to be shipping it with this tongue. If you want the longer tongue, you know, message me and say that you would like to have a longer tongue. But it's just... It would just drive the cost up a little more, you know, producing this longer tongue if you don't even need it. Uh, I know people like to have options, whatever, and whatnot. So it'll be, this will be going up into my store with just the standard tongue. And of course, I will be doing a, uh, a Joe version and a SMS version for the Cobras, in case you're wanting that. And <laughs> I was very... I was very sad last night when I saw across the Hasbro panel that uh, they will start making the uh, SMS <laughs> for the 112 scale because I, 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 
I shit you not, I've like been stocking up on uh, the SMS bodies for uh, my 3D printing because I knew that the HIS was going to be releasing soon. Uh, that's not to say that the SMS is going to be released probably up until maybe late this year or maybe middle of early next year. Uh, but I do have SMSs that I will probably reduce the price on just because I know Hasbro is going to start releasing them. Uh, so you'll have a chance to get them. Obviously it won't be as good a quality as what Hasbro. But, you know, if you're... I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. I may just completely cut this part out. Uh, but anyways... I now have hopes that I will be able to uh, still make my MMS SMS, but for the 1-6 scale G.I. Joe characters. So know that I will be a source for you all out there that collect those larger characters. I now have an MMS. Now, I just need somebody to reach out to me and say, hey, can I have a 1-6 scale flak? Because I will be able to help with that too. And I can only imagine how big the flak would be compared to this. It's got to be pretty huge. And I'm pretty sure that I can run it across my printers. I hope. Maybe. I'll have to check on that. Because I think one of the seat sections that I have is probably going to be pretty big. Comparatively. So, yes, again, I'm, I'm kind of sad that this will be disappearing out of the 112 lineup. Because I know if they're already making the SMS <coughs> for the uh, the S tank, they will be making the Joe version as well. So, uh, <coughs> see, I'm all getting choked up over here. So, anyways, yes, I will be sad to see this go, uh, but I will be able to keep this in my lineup just for the one six scale uh, character. So, I'm not releasing these files yet. <laughs> so, uh, so there's that. Let me get this out of the way. I'm kind of excited about something else. Here is my test piece for the demon that I've got uh, cranking on. I did release a video here the other day showing the uh, development process and the modeling. And I only just now got to the point where I could uh, focus on going back to the demon. So, actually, I'm going to pause this real quick and I want to go up and get my demon toy. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, here is the demon. Right here. And here's the despoiler. And if you ever wanted just to see the size comparison between my spoiler, the one that I make, this is this is the white version that I make, and this is the 118 version. So quite the size difference here. So you can pop this thing open over here. Let me get this camera down. Pop this thing open. And the part that I did a test piece on is this one right here, the one that seats all the characters. So I just wanted to make sure that I was fairly... I mean, I'm, again, I'm not trying to be identical to the actual toy and just scaling it up. So, But I do want to get a general idea on uh, the placement of the characters and how they're in there and... Uh, I got to make sure that I uh, place things in at least somewhat close because I don't want to be so far off where it doesn't, it'll interest nobody. <clears throat> but, you know, just looking at this, I can see that I can trim off quite a bit on, you know, the back side, the front side a little bit, and the back side over here if I need to. Because um, this, this is pretty big. <laughs> I mean, it's barely fit on my build plate for the XL. I actually had to crank it uh, 45 degrees to make it fit. But now that I've got this thing ran, then I can actually see how the characters are going to look with this uh, part that I modeled. I'm 
I'm, I can go ahead and get started on the rest of it. So I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Uh, so I'm getting pretty excited about getting this whole setup thing going. <laughs> so it's about the same size as the spoiler, or uh, the demon, lengthwise. Actually, it's 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 about maybe an inch and a half. <coughs> it's about an inch and a half longer. So definitely wider. But yeah, there's that. I think that's probably all that I really had to show off this week. Um, I know it's going to be a slow week for me just because everybody has been hitting their wallets. Uh, because Hasbro has released a lot of good stuff. And man, I am stoked for everything that is coming. Uh, between the VAMP, the SMS, you know, I'll give it to them where it's due. I'm happy that they're making it. I mean, that's the whole point of me getting into this is was I'm making the stuff that they're not. And as long as they're picking up that line, then that means I don't have to make and I can focus on other stuff like stuff that, other stuff that I know they're not going to be releasing, uh, like the, the Demon and the, the Spoiler. So I'm pretty stoked about what we got coming. Uh, yeah, that's it. This is Pixis Designs signing out.